Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make corn husk dolls and I'm also going to tell you a short story about how the Cherokee corn husk doll came about to have no face. I had a request for this video and they asked me to please go a little bit slowly so that they could catch on and make it because they've had difficulties in the past and that's what I did. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make them. Hey y'all, let me try to adjust my light here. Okay, so today we are going to be making corn husk dolls. See? Isn't she cute? Now this one is still wet, still very, very wet as you can see. And for this one, I did not dye my corn husks. You can dye your corn husks using RIT fabric dye. Just read the directions and, you know, just dye your corn husks, okay? But for this one, I want it to be a bit more natural. And I like the natural look because then you get all these little inconsistencies and that's what makes them so unique, I think. Makes each one unique. So, this one, like I said, is still wet. When it's done drying, I'll take out that paper towel. I put that in there to try to keep the skirt rounded, but I'll talk to you about that here in a minute. So anyway, she's going to sit over here and supervise. And while I'm putting the skirt together, because that takes a few layers, if you want to hang tight and listen to me on that one, I'm going to tell you the story of why the Cherokee corn husk doll does not have a face because that is my heritage. Now, corn husk dolls have a place in tons of different beliefs and societies all over the world. Lots of wonderful stories behind all of them. But like I said, Cherokee being my heritage, I'll tell you that story. So what I have here are some styrofoam balls. Do you need these? No, you do not. You don't have to have these. These are 1.3 inches the number one and a half ball, and I got this from Walmart. Hold on, the I've got chimes hanging up <laughs> on, my, on my thingy here. But I'm gonna use these for the head. You don't have to have those. Like I said, you can use paper towels or fabric. Now here, I have corn husks. They are soaking in hot water. Hot water works best. Cold water is just fine. You just wanna let them soak for a good 20 minutes or so to make them pliable. If you don't soak them in water, they're going to crack when you're working with them, okay? Now, I get these at Walmart or pretty much any grocery store in the Hispanic foods section. It's just a big bag of corn husks that are used to make tamales, and that is where I get mine. So first off, we're gonna find some to make the head. You're gonna need four. And also, I like to work with them while they are still drippy wet. That's why I have a towel down here. So we're gonna take four, and you see how they kind of curve a little bit? I'm gonna take two and lay them so that they're curving, blah, blah, curving like this. And then we're gonna take another two and lay on top of it where the curve is going this way. Four total, like I said, this looks like a good one. Okay, just four total like so. Now, I have this twine. You can get this at any craft store. You can use yarn, thread, whatever you want to use. I just like this because it gives us that nice natural look. And now you're going to take this and just gather it at the top. Just gather it up like so. And now we're going to wrap our twine around that pretty tightly. Flip it around. Let's tie it really well. And tie a really, really good, strong, sturdy knot, like so. Okay. Because we really want to make sure this is not going to come apart. Trim that away. Okay. So now we're going to kind of flip this inside out to make the head. Be very gentle when you're doing this. Because you don't want to tear them. Okay. Okay. See, these are your, where they split, open them up, and then you're just going to kind of take the center here and just bend these down over that center piece. And so now just be very gentle, using your fingers, just kind of round this out a little bit. Instead of being very, very gentle so that you don't tear them. That's why I like to leave mine in the bowl soaking while I'm working. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about them drying out. Okay, very, very gentle. Now this is where the styrofoam balls come in. Like I said, if you don't want to use one of these, 
use a wadded up paper towel. You can use wadded up fabric scraps. This is a really good way to get rid of fabric scraps. So I'm gonna trim off some of this right here. Don't cut it too close because you don't want your husk pulling out of your twine. Okay, just fan that out. And I'm gonna put this in the center to kind of sort of help the head to hold its shape, okay? And you're gonna determine which is the front and which is the back. I think I'm gonna use this for the front. So the back, just gonna bring it down and then take the front and just kind of fold over that. Okay, that way it's gonna give the back, I mean the front, uh, like a nice, smoother, rounded appearance. Just work your way around. And this takes a minute, don't rush it. Making sure you keep the front flap to the front. You don't want it sideways. It's just, it's just gonna help you for your personal reference. You said you don't have to use this if you don't want to. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, now we're gonna take another piece of twine and wrap it around. This is gonna be our neck. And tie it in the back. So I'm tying this really tightly. Okay. Cut these. Okay. So there's the head and the body so far. Oops, I got a little loop there. Okay, now let's make some arms. For the arms, you're gonna need two. And let's try to get them about the same size. Well, that don't look good. Well, that ain't good. Aha. Okay. So take this. I'm gonna lay, let's do it this way. So we have the wide part here, and here's your short part. Now you're gonna take another piece with the short part here and the wide part here. You're gonna lay them together like so. Just kind of getting your edges. You see how they're kind of even? That looks good. Let's pull it apart just a little bit. Now you're going to very carefully, very tightly roll this up. This is gonna be your arms. So I like putting down a towel because it gives you a little bit of resistance to kind of hold on to like, you know, the little lines in the corn husk. Just cut another piece. Okay, so this is the front of our doll. And once again, very carefully separate your husk into the front and the back. Gently, gently, take your time. No rush. Take the arm, lay right there in the center, and now bring this back down. Okay, now let's just form it a little bit. Okay, this is our waist. Now take your twine and wrap it again and tie it in the back. Now, you're gonna take another piece of twine and you're gonna tie the arms. I'm gonna tie here and here. And then we're gonna trim off these excess ends, okay? We'll do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what we have so far and now we're gonna start making the skirt. And then I'm gonna tell you a story. So to make the skirt, you just get your huss Take one, put it right about where her waist is, and bring it around. And take another one. Put it on the front, 
and then wrap it towards the back. Now you're gonna layer these as many as you want to give her a nice full skirt, always ending with the one wrapping this way. That way it gives you a nicer, more finished look. So anyway, the story goes that there were three sisters. There was corn, squash, and beans. And because the corn grew taller than the other two, she could see way down over to the village where all of the children would play. And she wanted nothing more than to be able to go and play with the kids. So she asked the creator to please make that possible. And the creator says that he is going to take her husks and he's going to make a corn husk doll. He's going to send the doll to the village every day to play with the children. So he makes the doll and he makes her this beautiful little house to live in right near the village. And he tells her, tomorrow I want you to go to the village and play with the children, but tonight I want you to rest. She says, okay. So she rests that night and the next day she gets up to go to the village to play with the children and she, pa she passes by the river. So she stops and she looks at herself. She's like, I am the most beautiful doll that there is. I'm so beautiful. And she just couldn't stop staring at herself. So the creator comes that evening and he says, what did you do today? And she said, well, I couldn't help it. I'm just so beautiful. I had to look at myself all day. And he says, that's not why I created you. Go home and get some rest. Tomorrow, go to the village and play with the children. She's like, okay. The next day is the same. She stares at herself all day. So he comes that evening and he says, what did you do today? Well, I stared at myself. I couldn't help it. He says, that's not why I created you. I want you to go to the village and play with the children. Get some rest. Do it tomorrow. Okay. He says, now listen, this is your last warning. You're not getting any more warnings. Okay. The next day was the same. She didn't go to the village. She just stood by the river and stared at herself all day. Creator comes in the evening and he says, listen, I warned you yesterday and the day before. There's not going to be any more warnings. You have to be punished. I created you to bring joy to the children, and instead, you've brought about vanity. So he removed her face so that nobody could ever again say that she was the most beautiful doll ever, removed the eyes so that she could no longer stare at herself all day, and there was nothing else left for her to do but to go down to the village and play with the children. So even though these dolls are plain, they have brought a lot of joy. And that's the story of that. All right, so we have all this wrapped around. Now here at the bottom, you wanna trim this so that it's flat, okay, and even. That's gonna allow it to stand up like this one is over here. So just be very careful. Let's lay this down and just press it flat so that we can get a nice even edge on the bottom here. Okay, that's about as good as we're gonna get, okay? So now we're going to do her little head wrap. Now this is not on the traditional Cherokee doll, just this body wrap part is, but I'm gonna do one for her hair because these are the ones that I remember, okay? All right, so I'm gonna set this off to the side just for a minute and let's find one here. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna use three. Oops, there's two stuck together. You're gonna use three and you're just going to take the edges and just fold it in a little bit. Fold the edge in a little bit and then fold it in and fold it in, okay? So that you have made this nice, thick little piece here. You're gonna do that, make two more. Okay, so I have these three. Now, this is a lot easier to do with the doll standing up, okay? But I'm gonna try to do it with the doll laying down so that y'all can see it on camera. I've just got this candle set in here. Now, you want to just trim the ends so that they're nice and even. Trying to keep them folded. Okay, I think the other ones look pretty good. I'm just going to set this candle here. All right, so now let's get us some twine ready. Okay. Why are you not... This one's a pretty thick one. You know what? Let me tear some of these some of this off right here, so it's not quite as thick. That can be for the head. Okay. 
So now you're going to take your doll here. And let's see which side we want face. And this is the folded side, so this will look better. We're going to bring this down to right about here. And you can tie this part down if you want to, just to make it easier for you to handle. I don't usually. And then you're going to take this and just crisscross it. See? Crisscross. Then we're going to take this other one. Oopsie doodle. And bring it and crisscross. Let's fold that around back. See? Now making sure that you catch these in the back now, just take another piece of twine and wrap it around. So make sure that you catch that in the back. Let's flip it over. I'm just going to tighten it down. Okay, let's wrap it one more time. Nice and even. Try to keep it nice and even. Okay, that looks good. All right, so before you really tighten anything down, you wanna make sure that everything is right and I'm gonna trim this to match that one, okay? Just tuck it down in there if that gets loose, no problem. Now you want to make all of your adjustments while everything is still damp because once it dries, it's going to be stuck in that position, okay? So once I tie this down, oopsie doodle, we're going to go over it and we're going to make sure that everything is, you know, absolutely the way that we want it. That way you can reposition. Okay, let's see. Let's just scooch that down. Just tuck that in just like so. There we go. That's about how I want it. Okay, now we just trim this to match the other one. Okay, let's make sure this is tucked down in there. I said get everything into position now because when it dries, that's the way it's going to be, all right? So there's everything down. Okay. Now, I have some paper towels over here. You don't want it to lay down and dry flat if you want it to stand up, okay? So I'm just gonna take some paper towels. Let's look at the bottom of the skirt here. And we're just going to stuff it with these paper towels gently. You don't wanna tear it. To give it that rounded shape. And that way she can stand up like so. And then when she dries, everything is gonna be in position It'll be fine. Now you can take dried flowers and tuck down in here. Um, you can glue flowers on, you know, however you want to decorate yours. It's fine with me. I just want to tuck this down just a little bit more. But anyway, there we go. And each one is going to be unique. All of the different variations of your corn husks. You can make them larger. You can make them smaller. Um, you can take them and take some of that writ fabric dye I was telling you about. You can dip them in dye to give them sort of like an ombre effect. Um, just so many different things that you can do with your dolls. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.